Now there are. I'm not. I'm not meaning to say that like every single Yellow Ranger has been a guy. I mean, there have been Sentai teams where there have been two females, and usually the Yellow Ranger fills the male role. But this is one of those cases where there were two females, and uh, the Blue Ranger was the female. Uh, the blue and white, where, where the uh, female's not yellow and white. But enough about uh, gender roles in uh, Japanese children's shows. Um, we got our boss again. Well, not again, another one. This is uh, Jiku Mammoth. Uh, Jiku means can I mean I think it can mean it can it can mean time. But I've also seen it translated as in the in, in the case of this particular monster anyway, dimensions. And he has a, an annoying attack that you actually have to jump to dodge. And he actually is a little tough if you if you try to. Get cocky and go all out on him. So I'm probably not gonna even bother. You already seen what happens when I try that. No good comes from it. So. Awesome. Okay, I think I can get a little copy now. It'll probably add, end badly, but you know, he's had you know he had such low health and may as well. All right. Now that we've cleared all five of the areas, what comes next? Well, like you know, Mega Man fashion, you. have in which you can choose which levels to do, and once you complete all of them, you go to a final stage. I'm gonna bring back out red for this. So yeah, this is basically the, uh, I guess you could say the Dr. Wily area of the game. I'm... Crap, okay. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, back there, I, I thought I was still, I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm thinking I'm still uh, controlling Great Icarus, but um, I'm not. And I'm pushing, or oh, maybe down will block the attacks. But I'm an idiot, so. Yeah, also notice we haven't died yet. Uh, basically, if you die, then um, that particular um, Jetman member, I guess I could still say Ranger in this case, you know. We still can, we, like, even as Super Sentai fans, we still call them Rangers. But that particular Ranger won't be able to, for you to be used until you get a game over, at which point I believe you can pick all five of them again. I probably wasted that, but I don't care. So I just gotta remind myself to awesome. to uh, just use my safety technique against the uh, final boss because um, he's not very easy, especially if you get cocky and try to um, just go all out on him, as you might expect. At least with my skills at this game, only bad can come from it. This is not a good situation. And Red Hawk is down. We don't have to start the level over, do we? No. We're right back here. So it's up to Black Condor to save the day. Yeah, 
Projectile dodging is not one of my favorite pastimes in video games, but... You know, it's an old school platformer, what are you gonna do? Wow. I should have jumped those, actually. Oh, we're at the end! Yep, usually when you see when you see these stalagmites, as you may have noticed at this point, from this, at least at this point, when you reach the stalagmites, you're pretty much at the end of the game. Or the stalactites. This one just has a larger stalactite bit, I guess because it's the final level, but... And, um... That's the final boss. I think his name is Misumaru. Like, Dimensional Warrior Misumaru or something like that. Um, he's not really the leader of Viram, but... I guess they didn't really want to spoil too much the, um... Ending... Because I don't, I, I don't think they were at the ending of the show when this came out. He also jumps your, uh... Level 2 Special the Laser thing. Oh, he's already kicking my butt. Power waving. I guess we're gonna call that the power wave. Not to be confused with the power wave that Terry Bogard uses in uh, King of Fighters or Fatal Fury. Or uh, they seem to be the same continuity, so I don't know the difference between SNK's fighting games. And the shield, you know, makes all of his projectile attacks, even that, you know, badass-looking lightning thing. It makes it look like, you know, child's play. Let's get the lightning bolt at him, but I'll kill him and... Oh, we got him! Awesome! That's it, we beat the game! And we get to watch the ending. I think uh, Great Icarus is going to destroy the uh, Viram base there. certainly is. And... Yep, save the Earth. Thank you for Jetman. And you. So, that's it. That's, uh, <laughs> Chojin Sentai Jetman. I just decided to do that, you know, a little something different. Um, you know, just to, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that Baldur's Gate's getting boring already. I just, you know, I wanted to do a little something something just on the side. And, uh, oh, Shin-Chan apparently made this game. I think Shin Chan, yeah, he's like that anime character or whatever. And how come some of these people use their real names, but, you know, other people just use, like, you know, Frogman and Shin Chan and stuff like that? Copyright Angel. And, uh, like Angel Time. That's right, folks, it's Angel Time. Does it, does it loop back to the beginning? Buttons. Yep, yeah, title A plus B plus start. That's the, um... That's the code for, uh, unlocking hard and very hard difficulties. But I'm not going to do those because, um... You know, I... Suck at the game enough as it is. Uh, okay. Uh... That's uh, Jetman for you. It was uh, this was just you know again a quick like this is just a little over a half hour so uh, I had fun. This isn't going to have as much of a lasting impression on me as I mean I'm going to be uploading all of this like today, you know, just as a little treat I guess. No, the music is going to keep looping. <laughs> oh okay, so before you get sick of seeing Angel Time. Too, too sick of it. 
This has been Choji and Sentai Jetman, and I've been Rado Goji, and I'll be here next time. Join me, won't you? <laughs>